All right. You ever get done with a book and you still don't know what to think? That's kind of where I'm at. I just finished Womb City. This book is weird, which is not always a bad thing. But we've got a, a little bit of everything. This book can best be described as sci-fi horror. We've got a god. We've got ghosts. We've got flying cars. We've got body hopping, basically moving your conscious from one body to another. Uh, we've got a little bit of minority report going on. Uh, if your body, not necessarily you, if your body, whoever has some, could be somebody who inhabited it before, committed a crime, you get a little, uh, you get a little microchip in the back that records everything. And if the AI thinks that you could do a crime, you can still get punished for it, but it's weird. Okay, so bear with me. I'm going to try to say this right. You know what? Forget it. Recorded Books presents Womb City by Koto Tamaase. Narrated by Christel Mutombo. All right. Tlotlo. Tlotlo Tamaase. I apologize. I cannot get my tongue to wrap around that name. No, no, I, just, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can get close-ish. Tlotlo Tamaase. I still apologize. All right. What an odd book. So the gist of it is you basically got this uh, young woman. She is on her, not, not necessarily her first go around in a body. She's in a body that this is not its first go around. So. Yeah, and it only gets weirder from there. I'm just going to leave that at that. But, you know, she's she's married to a husband who's not necessarily the nicest guy on the planet. Uh, he's part of the police force, but he treats her uh, differently, I think, because of the fact that she's got this microchip. Uh, almost like, you know, you're a microchipped body. Not everybody would have married you. You're so lucky to have me, yada, yada. She's trying very hard to have a child. She's apparently had a few miscarriages. And so they decide to do the whole, uh, I don't remember if I mentioned that now. Yeah, you can also have, you can, cl they clone the bodies. Not necessarily clone, they create the bodies. Think of it as in vitro, but out vitro. Uh, yeah, they take the sperm, the egg, they have this place, it's called Womb City, you know, go figure. And they can, you know, bring the bodies up from, you know, one cell to a uh, full, full adulthood if they have to. So they decide to have a child. In the meantime, she's she's done the dirty dirty with a, a side side guy who's also married, so you know. Yeah, it's it's everything you think it is. And in the meantime, a horrific accident happens, and uh, now they're being hunted and haunted by a ghost. I'm not going to say anything else without giving too much away on this. What I will say about this, first of all, get the physical book. I listened to the audiobook, and this is absolutely nothing against Christelle Mutombo. I think she did a wonderful job narrating this book. But there are too many parts of this book where I wanted to go, wait, what? And flip back a page. <laughs> so I, I did a lot of rewinding and I think that would just be easier with a physical book. Plus I also think maybe for me, this is a personal thing for me, physical books stick better in my mind. So a nice, even like beach read type story, I can do audiobook, no problem. I've done a few fantasy books like that, but this book with so many weird, different concepts in it, it's sometimes it's hard for me to keep everything straight in my head, listening to the audiobook. So definitely get the physical copy. I'm going to go ahead and give this a four, which sounds really weird after everything I just said. However, this one of this is one of those books, if you told me you gave it anywhere from a one to a five, I still wouldn't argue with you. For me, it was a four. Despite all of the oddness of it and a few things where I thought, wait, what? Uh, for instance, at one point we go from you know, this ends at one o'clock. It's, you know, midnight. We have an hour to, in the next moment, dawn is coming and it's five o'clock and it wasn't over yet. Um, 
Yeah, I got a little confused there. However, somebody also has a uh, whip of time, so who knows? Who knows? Like I said, like I said, there's a there's there's a few parts that are a little odd, but overall, the story itself. I enjoyed. Read it, read, read it for yourself. Make your own decision. This is the hardest uh, hardest rating I've ever had to give a book because, like I said, my my personal opinion is all over the place. But I think overall, I did not regret reading this book. I personally liked it, despite its flaws. But I'm going to totally understand if those flaws are too hard for you to get over, or if it gets a too little uh, political. The one thing I will have to say too, though, is when I got to the end, and you know, they, they, you know, Christelle reads off, uh, you know, the end. I'm like, wait, well, I have questions, <laughs> it's like, and I don't know if I have enough questions for me to want a sequel to this book. I don't, I don't know if that would fill it up, um, but I kind of want an epilogue. <laughs> that's that's all I'm saying. Would I, would I tell you to read this book? Yes, I would tell you to read this book. But would I also tell you to go in without high expectations because I think it's one of those where high expectations could ruin it for you. But I read, went into this book knowing nothing but the synopsis and had very little expectations. My expectations were met all over the board. <laughs> it was so weird. All right, so I'm not gonna ruin your name again, TT. I enjoyed the book. I kind of want to see. I, I kind of want to read something else now. By you, it was. A, it was a. Uh, it was a roller coaster. Anyhow, well done. Very weird, but well done. Thank you. Have a good one, guys.